What's up? Welcome to the Goalie Basics. This video is for those who need help with the fundamental foundations of goalie skills. Mostly aimed towards those who just got the game and need basic help, but it's likewise for experienced goalies. Because whether we want to admit it or not, experienced or not, we go through rough patches. Sometimes we just simply lose ourselves and don't play that well. Usually this happens because we forget the basics. These basic tips act as a foundation to all other tips you can learn afterward. So without utilizing these tips, you can't really internalize the more experienced ones. I made this video short and sweet, that way the people that need help, they can get to what they need as fast as possible. So for more stuff like this, please like and subscribe. All right, without further ado, let's go. All right, so with being the first thing you need to master because you just got the game or you're experienced and you need help with the most basic things, movement is the most basic tip I could think of, but it's also the most crucial. The movement aspect of this game dictates all other techniques because without movement, there is nothing. This is usually the thing experienced goalies get stale at over time, so it's important to utilize it. Move one push at a time. Most people, when they first get the game, they try to hold the sticks down, follow the puck like that, it worked in older games, but not in these games. You're going to get sniped and you lose yourself a lot easier. So what you want to do is move one push at a time. And I'll show you how to do it. So this is how you do it. As you can see, I'm not moving. Look at my goalie. Watch my goalie. I'm not moving like crazy. I'm just moving one push. One push gets me to the middle. One more push gets me to the post to save that post shot. That's how you move in game. I'm not moving like this. I'm not moving like uh, holding the sticks down. Moving, Holding the sticks down is good if they pass all the way across, but not for regular following the puck. This is how you move for following the puck when it's just one guy carrying it or simple passing plays. Don't move like that. Move like this. Move one push, gets me to the post, back to the middle, other post, back to the middle. That's how you move in game. Your guy moves better with it. He's more controlled. You know where your guy is and you position yourself with a plum. So this is all I'm doing. It's quite simple, actually. I'm just tapping the sticks over left and right for half a second. Once you understand how your how you push, how your goalie mechanics work, you'll understand how it works. Now, you don't want to hold the sticks down. You want to tap it. Just tap it, let go, and your goalie will do a perfect push. You'll figure out with experience how long and how hard you should push the sticks. And once you do, you really have your positioning pushing down. And I think what I'm about to say next is a problem many people have when starting out. And not only that, when people are experienced too. They look at their goalie too much. Now I understand you're new and you want to know what you're doing. You want to know where your goalie is. But the thing is, when you're looking at your goalie, you're not reading the plays. You can't read the plays. You need to look at the puck and the players that are dangerous. This is why I think muscle memory is one of the most important things in this game. If you can muscle memory and muscle memory your pushes, then you can move around with the push movements without even looking at your goalie and you can say exactly where your goalie is. That's the kind of level you want to get to. Now, if you're newer and you have a hard time with this, use a lower camera. That way you can see more of you can see down low and you can see your goalie in your peripheral vision better. That way you can have peace of mind while you're moving. Here's a big mistake I see many goalies make that's very unnecessary. They're in butterfly too much. They're constantly sliding out of the way and that's what 90% of their goals are happening because of it. Um, butterfly is a useful tool, but it causes problems when used at the wrong time. If you're just starting out, I wouldn't go in butterfly at all for my first couple games. Just get used to the regular movements first. Understand how it works, then you can start dropping down. The only time you should go down is if they are running along the goal line or they are directly behind the net. And depending on your playstyle, you may need to butterfly slide for a cross crease or even a rebound. But these are the things you'll learn for yourself as you go through, but I thought I'd give you a head start. Here's a drill or an exercise I like to do when I feel sluggish in net, and I think you should try it too. When I don't feel to a T in net, I do this drill. I just do one push movements from the left to the center, from center to right, over and over and over. It gets me warmed up for what I'll need to do when I eventually need to go face to face with the puck. It gets me ready. One push movements is key. Don't hold it down for too long or too short. Get used to these movements, understand how it works and where they take you. Then you can move on to the next portion of this video, which is positioning. Positioning and movement are closely related. In my mind, they both have the same amount of importance. 
Just like movement, without positioning, you can't fully utilize the more advanced techniques. I'll show you how to position like a pro and make some jaw dropping stops. First thing I'll say is don't move too much. You want minimal amount of adjustments because if you get caught in an adjustment, you're in code red danger. If the skater passes or shoots while you are adjusting, it's very difficult to recover. So make sure you're standing still for as long as you can. That way, no matter what they do, you can set up quicker and easier and always make sure you set your feet if they shoot. And always keep this in mind. The further away they are from you, the less you need to move, but the closer they are, the more you need to move. Don't stray too far from the middle of the crease. The area in the middle of the crease is what we call the safe zone. It's where you spend most of your time in game. Certain situations call for you to go out further, but you shouldn't go more than one push away from this safe zone. Stay within the post. For your skill level, there is no reason for you to go beyond the post other than the want to get sniped and deked around. Just stay within the post and you'll make saves. Set up for the short side. This is something that newer and experienced goalies have problems with. If defensemen hate when goalies give up short side snipes, and I cringe when goalies give up these goals, for there is no need. Let me show you how to save these pesky goals. Starting from the middle position, if you do one push to either side, then you'll have it covered. If you're standing in the middle of the crease and do one push left or right, your goalie's foot should be on the post. It depends on your stance, but some stance may even have your leg a little over, which is perfectly fine. In this position, you will save short side and give your defenseman a sigh of relief. The exercise for this tip is the exact same for the last one, because muscle memory is just that important. The more you do this drill, the more muscle memory gets logged into your head, and then that way you won't be staring at your goalie, and then you'll be able to follow the puck and read plays much easier. So just simply move from middle to left, from left to middle, middle to right, right to middle. Just over and over and over, then the muscle memory will automatically grow. So stay conservative, don't move a lot, and don't move too far. You don't need to go any further than the post and the safe zone. So that's basically it. Make sure you rinse and repeat all I have said because then you will grow muscle memory, which is hugely important. I hope this helped all of you, both new and experienced, because I know even myself, I get stale at times and I might even need to look back at this video from time to time. So I hope this all helped. Please like and subscribe. This video took forever to make. See you next time. Goodbye.